I'm back. I know I've been gone <laughs> almost a month. I, upload, I uploaded a quick little self-love altar that I made while I was away. But we're here first week of November. Let's just see what's going on for November. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff like all these YouTubers and I guess now I say. So let's get started. All right, what's up, Geminis? What's up, what's up? So this is November 2020. Sorry for lighting my face, but at the same time I'm glowing. Um, so we're gonna talk about what's going on here. So. We're starting off with the Ace of Wands, Gemini, in November, right? November 2020. Starting off with the Ace of Wands. We have where, okay, beginning of November, starting off, first day out. Um, you're pretty much acing everything you're working towards, everything you're working at. But it feels almost like it's time to learn more. It's almost time to excel. It's time to do more thinking. It's time to do more talking and thinking, which you're really good at. So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So it's time to work on traveling. It's time to work on studying something new. It is time to stimulate your mind and see where you can take this work that you've been doing. See where you can really take this. This is all about expansion, it seems like, so far. Uh, we do have the Devil card upright, but, you know, pretty much you see things clearly. Once you start studying this great cosmic quest of things that you're trying to excel at, you will clearly see the obstacles that you have to deal with, and there will be no surprise of what the devil might try to bring, or, you know, karma or luck will try to bring to you. So, definitely looking good so far. So, let's see, let's see. Because you're definitely doing a communication. And you could be also communicating more, to, too, with... um. Just more studying also is more talking and receiving. So it just seems like a lot of that. Like, you you know, I'm just getting a lot of it. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So the Eight of Cups, this is all around about joint finances, anything taboo, all this. So you're kind of, something is going on with this. With this studying that you have going on here with this Nine of Swords. And then you see what clearly for what things are and what it is for. With the Eight of Cups, that's right behind your ninth house. That's going in uh, right behind the eighth house. So this is kind of a mesh in going on here. So this could revolve around since you got this Ace of Wands and you're putting towards work and expansion. Your expansion could be also thinking about things taboo that you never thought about before. They also could be consist of what you are trying to study. So this is definitely a good a good sign here. Now it's just all about what can satisfy your brain it seems like for you gemini there's a lot of talk the voices never stop in your head the thoughts never stop the, the scenarios all different types of things that you can feel like to learn the possibilities of life but what about so what the problem is that also with this taboo thing okay eighth house eight of cups this is an emotional standpoint how do you emotionally feel about finances joint finances credit cards debt and all that so yes there is expansion but there is some things that could be holding you back in that eighth house energy because now we have the um you know i know i know dun 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 <laughs> tower card in reverse surprise <laughs> so i know you don't want no tower card in reverse i understand but please be prepared if you're doing all this studying for in the nine of swords with the ninth house with the travel the great cosmic study that you're trying to expand on on what you're working on be weary about these changes and surprises that are coming with this eighth house this could be definitely pointing towards about your depths if you were supposed to be traveling and studying and talking about it i noticed that you're talking about it but you're not you haven't really moved about it so now surprises will come along that i i don't i would say that it doesn't seem like you're too much gonna like you know but you will overcome this. The surprises will be more of like, this is almost like a spiritual journey happening here. Wow. So yeah, this is a breakthrough. This is where you're going to be opening up your mind and seeing these surprises that you're certainly getting. This, These certain surprises could be something that you're dealing with. It's really giving me more confrontational issues. More issues about things you kind of avoided to be able to keep doing what you're doing with that expansion, expanding upon whatever you're working on here. I'm mean, getting a lot of people are working on stuff. This is going like a lot of... of a lot of journey this is it must be the journey month for everyone because it's definitely giving me spiritual journey or learning past life lessons as well i'm about your debts your joint finances so it really feels like because you could i mean i'm getting that you could be really you're not you're feeling vulnerable about your joint finance situation right it's not feeling like you're not feeling like you're having like you have enough resources or it's gonna keep feeling like you're not having enough resources why you think you're gonna be able to go out there and travel just keep planning, keep replanning and talking about it and thinking about it and putting on paper. But be careful about your moves because this does revolve around money. But the good thing after this tower, you know, this tower effect and all these changes begin to happen that 
you won't be too favorable for, it will come out to see. It's almost like it's a shadow work period for you. Because you're going to come out as the star, as you see. And then we got the death card upright. So you do have a positive change at this. And it is change, uh, you do have a positive change after this. But I will say it will be a lot of complications. And it, it'll be so fast. It's almost like it's just a smack, 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 smack. It's going to just kind of come back to back to back to back. So just have that heads up about it. And this tower effect could affect most of you all since I am doing it by weekly, weekly form for the month. Be prepared, prepared for a weekend, even probably the first weekend of November to not really go so well, to be honest. You know, mentally prepare yourself. Be prepared. Whatever gut feelings you have, follow them. That would be your point. And that tower point is to trust your intuition because then you'll see how much the power you have and how much you can overcome being the star. Because you got to remember, remember, this is your life. Even though you feel like you don't have a lot of control over it, don't feel like you just like, you know, you don't have any control over it. You do control the things that you can't control in that element. So then we do have the five of pentacles in reverse too. So also this is your creative zone, family zone, all that. And then we have the nine of cups. A lot. Of, okay. Okay. Wow. Funny cups line up on cups. This is about some overcoming. This is definitely a spiritual journey. Overcoming a whole lot here. And it's almost like your worst en enemy will be yourself. But it almost will say it's your brain. It's all about your creativity. How do you expand upon this creativity? And how you will expand upon this creativity is that you will boss up and remember, even though you feel like you were being held back by debts and finances and credit cards or whatever debt you have you owe, don't un understand Understand that you don't have to be held back by that. We do have the Knight of Cups up right for you on top of that Eight of Cups. So within that same period where that week was, literally, like, let's say this go down on a Thursday. That next week on that Thursday, it will be totally different. Things will be totally upright. Now you realize where this holds. You realize you don't have to be held back by your finances. You damn near been expanding the way you have been expanding with no problem. So don't let that get you down. Sorry, you're like some rocky. So then we have the five of wands upright. So still going into this creative house, this creativity, the fun zone. What can you expand on? What can you bring out of this? What... It's almost what do you bring to the table for yourself to change yourself into a better person, into a better you. So it's definitely giving me spiritual journey vibes here because now we got the Empress in reverse. So it's, it's up and down. It's up and down. This is all about finding your niche. I'm definitely getting this is all about finding your niche. Then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse again. You're going to have a hard time finding your niche. This is calling you, uh, causing you, this is causing you a difficult time. Dealing with your true self and what you face. The other side of you. It's almost a reflecting back on what problems you probably have brought people in the past. And you see how it has affected you and how it also has benefited you. But it's almost like you realize it's time for things to change. It's time for you to expand your mind and expand what you're doing on and, and turn it to something better. And then we have the Three of Cups. So we got the Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. It's a lot of emotional elements. It's definitely deep down elements. Um, definitely communication is going on here. You're dealing with communication within yourself. It's a lot of communication about Because, I mean, you guys already dwell on communication. You are ruled by Mercury. So this is definitely a more internal conflict kind of thing going on here. It's almost like it's causing frustration. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to say. It, it, where do you go next? It's, it's, it's kind of up and down, up and down. But... It's like this is your reward for breaking down another piece of yourself. But the, you always got to understand that every part of yourself is not going to be sunshine and rainbows like you really always thought about yourself sometimes. You just have to realize deep down and do analytical thinking. This also could be involving you writing in a journal about yourself. This is definitely some self-reflection. This could be your shadow work. Your shadow journal journal you're writing in. But you're definitely sitting here and just working on yourself. You're definitely trying to figure that all out with that ace of swords here. It's just that you're being and, and don't be surprised if you become more defensive and more protective over yourself. Cause you will. You definitely will. But it's just in your way to really work on yourself. It's almost like you're gonna start distancing yourself. And don't be surprised when people start noticing that about you. But because you're not going to be lending your words 
really to people. It's almost like you're trying to lend your words to yourself. You're trying to take your own advice. Queen of Swords. Yeah, like I said, you're taking back. You're taking back your... You, you give enough advice to everyone, but what does everyone give to you? So now we got the Four of Pentacles. So all this self-reflection will make you start digging down deeper too close to home and who you really are. So you'll be working on going back to your roots and also seeing how they have affected you or not affected you. Um, how do you take this in stride? How have you used this as yourself, as a person? You know, how to use this to communicate with people. Because like I said, you're the one that's always giving advice to people. You're always helping people solve their own problems. But you realize you've been solving too many people's problems. You've been people's therapists too long. So now it's time to solve your own problems for yourself. And and this means, I mean, this could mean taking it back home. This could be mean, meaning you going back actually home. Or just staying home. Or just thinking about your past and everything you have went through. So, and now we got the high priest in reverse. So it's a lot of just, uh... It, it, and it's not even like self-confidence, like the typical self-confidence here, like more physical. It's more internal about how genuine you are as a person. It's almost like you're breaking out of a new mode of yourself. And then we got the hermit. And <laughs> right, I said that. So you're working on breaking into a new mode of yourself and breaking out of the old mode of your old self. So it's definitely about, this is a, definitely an internal change. And this is definitely giving you shadow work. You know, you're just trying not to be held back by the chains that you always felt like you was held back from. Um... You're just trying to expand yourself from inside and out. That's really all this is about. And then we have the seven of wands. So this is about your cooperation. Like I said, you already have not really been lending yourself to people. And this also could lead to you cutting off some people, you know, or I mean, it's really not. I wouldn't say completely cutting off, but this is definitely you distancing yourself until you figure out where everyone else can get placed in your life. But you got to figure out where you place in your life first. So it's definitely something... This is definitely something big that means a lot to you. So let's see. Let's get some messages for y'all. So with the goddess of 10,000 names, if you have felt constrained by a role, name, or identity and are wishing for assistance and growing beyond it, or if you have sensed a new role or identity calling you into a greater expression and would love some divine help in that growth, this oracle indicates the help you need is already with you and urging your growth from within. See, we on point. As usual, always on point. Always on point. Give me one more card for Gemini's. One more card for Gemini's for the month of November 2020. Lady of the Stars. Sirius is a celestial goddess and a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings you deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. So a whole spiritual journey is going on here. So you're just going through the, the, the obstacles of expansion and expanding yourself from inside and out to better yourself to a better person. Um, You just want more from yourself. And that's really just what's going on here, Gemini. So, you know, this is will be your shadow period. And, um, you know, if they take it personal, they take it personal. But, you know, this is all in good faith to make you a better you. So... Hope you guys enjoy. You know, if you want a personal reading, shadesterror.com, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And like, comment, subscribe. So I'll see you guys later.